I'm going to talk to you today about the two population theories. The first of these is Malthus' theory. Malthus' theory was that population increased exponentially. So that means 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. Whereas food production increased in a linear fashion. So 1, 2, 3, 4. He therefore uh, proposed that one day we'd get to a point where there just wouldn't be enough food for all the population. And at that point we'd have what he called a natural check, and that would stop the population from growing. Uh, maybe a disaster or famine uh, would cap the population and there'd be a maximum amount of people that the world could sustain. Now he was quite a negative person and he thought, he was also quite religious, that we had a moral obligation to keep the population of the planet um, low to, to prevent this from happening. On the other hand, later on in time, uh, was a lady called Bozera, and she had a quite different, more positive view. She thought that um, population did increase um, exponentially, as uh, Malthus said, as with food production. But she believed that technology would always come to our rescue and that we would always find a way to cope with more people. Uh, the saying, um, necessity is the mother of invention, was something that she really felt strongly about. She said that we would have improving, um, improvements in farming techniques, and improvements in healthcare, etc., which would allow us to live longer and that we wouldn't have a natural check and that we would be able to cope with more people.